Today on Running to Him We are to be careful about our salvation. Today's reading is Luke chapter 13 verse 18 through 14 verse 24 and we will be concentrating on verses 13, 23 through 27. Luke 13, 23 through 27 says, And someone came to him and said, Lord, are there just a few who are to be saved? And he said to them, Strive to enter through the narrow door. For many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able. Once the head of the house gets up and shuts the door, you will be able to stand outside and knock on the door saying, Lord, open up to us. And then he will answer to you and say, I do not know where you are from. Then you will begin to say, We ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. And he will say, I tell you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you evildoers. Before we dive into today's devotion, I'd like to say that I believe that once you are truly having a relationship with God, you'll always have that relationship with God. Now you might notice that I added the defining word truly to the statement. In this passage, and in Matthew 25, 31 through 46, Jesus describes people who claim and believe to have a relationship with him, when in fact do not have a relationship. In 2 Timothy 2, 5, Paul writes, Also, if anyone competes as an athlete, he does not win the prize unless he competes according to the rules. In other words, some look like they have a relationship to Christ, but they really don't. So how do we know that we have a relationship with Christ if we don't have a notarized copy of a letter saying we're in good standing with him? And this is a question that's haunted Christians from the beginning. We can use an argument from Scripture. Three key passages are John 1, 12, 13, and 14, where John writes, But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name who were born, not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but God. The second is 1 John 5.13, which says, These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. And the third is 1 John 2.3-6. By this we know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments. And the one who says, I have come to know him, and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him the love of God has truly been perfected. By this we know that we are in him. The one who says he abides in him ought to also walk in the same manner as he walked. Now, notice that the first two passages from the Gospel of John and the letter of 1 John only discuss belief. The third passage, which is also from 1 John, says the responsibility for believers is to keep his commandments to do the work he has set for us to do. Thus, salvation is based on belief, but guided by following him. If we put it another way, there was a point in time when I began a relationship with Christ, but my life with him does not stop there. As I live, my responsibility, my job, so to speak, is to do the work he has planned for me to do. See Ephesians 2.10. If I feel no need to change, I must recognize that I do not have a relationship with him, even if I go to church and do religious things. Do we truly have a relationship with Christ? Does that relationship show in our lives? Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.